The Voting Rights Act. The Voting Rights Act, VRA, of 1965 is historic civil rights legislation protecting all citizens' right to vote, regardless of race or color. It was supported by Democrats and Republicans in Congress and signed into law by President Lyndon Johnson. While the 15th Amendment to the Constitution prohibits states from disenfranchising citizens on the basis of race, discriminatory tactics were used to prevent black citizens from exercising their rights, particularly in the South. As a result, black voter registration and turnout dropped drastically. Voting rights were at the forefront of the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. On March 7, 1965, Peaceful protesters, led by late congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis, were beaten by Alabama police as they marched in Selma, demanding equal voting access. That day, known as Bloody Sunday, was televised across the country. Public outrage over the mistreatment and violence helped mobilize Congress to pass the VRA. The VRA expressly prohibited discriminatory voting laws. Section 4B established a formula to determine which states and municipalities demonstrated a history of voting rights violations. Section 5 required those jurisdictions to obtain federal approval before changing voting rules. The impact was immediate. In Mississippi, black voter turnout increased from 6% in 1964 to 59% in 1969. With little opposition, Congress has since renewed and amended the VRA five times. New provisions included protections for voters with language barriers or disabilities. Then, in 2010, officials from Shelby County, Alabama, challenged the act, arguing that Sections 4B and 5 were unconstitutional because they infringed on states' rights. Three years later, in Shelby County v. Holder, the Supreme Court ruled that Section 4B, the preclearance formula, was outdated. Chief Justice Roberts argued it was no longer relevant because the country had largely achieved racial parity in voter registration and turnout. Without this formula, Section 5 is unenforceable. States may change voting laws without federal approval. In her dissent, Justice Ginsburg warned that preclearance is needed to stop continued discrimination, removing it quote, is like throwing away your umbrella in a rainstorm because you are not getting wet, end quote. Immediately following the court's decision, states began changing voting laws. Since 2013, 22 states have enacted new voting restrictions and more than 1,600 polling places have been closed in states that had previously fallen under the jurisdiction of the VRA. Many of these changes have been found to discriminate against voters of color with intentional discrimination cited by courts in at least 10 cases. In December 2019, the Democratic-controlled House voted to restore the VRA, introducing a new formula for preclearance and requiring states to get federal approval for election changes that discriminate against voters of color or language minorities. Companion legislation, named after the late Congressman John Lewis, has been introduced in the Republican-controlled Senate, but has not yet been brought to a vote.